when you're in practice as a dentist, you want to make sure that the marketing you do really works. And the whole purpose of marketing can be misinterpreted in many different ways. We're finding here at Dental Nachos that there's a lot of different ways to do it, but we've got someone that is standing by to help you right now learn about that. He is with a company called Fire Gang, and they get new patients for dentists. His name is Mike Matthews, and he's joining us right now. Mike, thanks for being with us today. Thanks, Terry. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever time it is where you are. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, because here at Dental Nachos, we're operating well 24-7 pretty much with uh, the digital we have, uh, marketing that we have. You and your company have been known to really get some good results for dentists for generating those new patients. Tell us a little bit about what Fire Gang is all about and how you help dentists. Yeah, happy to do so. And again, thanks for the time, Terry. So it, for brevity and to be succinct, Fire Gang helps dentists by driving the right patients in record numbers with laser-like precision. The end, right? That is what marketing is to us. The rest is kind of PR and collateral, if you will. But our paradigm at Fire Gang is really helping dentists build the remarkable and rewarding practice. Now, what does that mean? To one dentist, it might mean, hey, Mike, please get me as many types of patients as you can, general dentistry, you know, all the way to implant dentistry, for example, we service them all, I'm looking for numbers. And that's great, and we can certainly do that. But also, for another dentist, as an example, a remarkable and rewarding practice might be allowing them to focus on procedures that they particularly enjoy that in the case of implants, for example, might be more high dollar cases like five figures, for example, so they can spend maybe three days a week working so they can focus on the other things that they need to do or focus more working on their business as opposed to working in their business because dentistry, it's still a business at the end of the day, right? If you're yes, not making absolutely. money, it's a hobby. You got to keep the lights on. Exactly. You got to make sure it's there. Well, as we look at that, there's a lot of people that are doing marketing, but I like the way what's been said about you. And what's being said is like, if you think of the Navy, that's real good, wonderful uh, military, but then there's the Navy SEALs and people have called you the Navy SEALs of dental marketing. Tell us a little bit about why they do that. And what, what does that mean? So a, a number of things, I, I think using your you know military example, right? The shotgun approach is great, but it doesn't work if you're pointing it straight up in the air. And quite honestly, that's what a lot of folks that uh, we chat with are currently doing, right? Um, what we've been able to do, we've been in business for 12 years, we work with thousands of dentists and there's not a situation that we have not seen that we have not minimally overcome and overwhelmingly you know, uh, have been remarkably successful in generating results for, right? Helping dentists identify exactly who they wanna be targeting and then putting the shotgun away and taking out the sniper rifle, right? Laser-like precision, getting the right people. In the I like that. I think that's very important in the marketing that I do as here at Dental Nachos, working with the communication, the marketing we do, we find that it's very important to do it the right way. And one of the things I really value about what you are doing, uh, you are using a lot of data. It's not just, well, I, I think this would work. Well, just give it a shot and see what happens. No, right. you don't do that. You're looking for precision. You're looking for the data. Tell us a little bit about what drives that and the results yes. you're getting on that. Yeah, so I think there's a misnomer out there. There's a, there's a phrase that is almost correct. And that phrase is something akin to he or she who has the data always wins. Well, that's close. He or she who has the data makes sure, has validated it to make sure it's correct, knows how to read that data and then how to use that data to influence their next three to five moves wins, right? Huge difference. Right. So how Fire Gang does that, everything that we do is laser like precision when it comes to data. And that starts with Adam Zoko, our founder and CEO, who I lovingly yet accurately call the Tony Robbins of dental marketing. Right. Adam is a two and I believe three time Amazon award winning, best selling dental marketing author at this point, founded um, our company 12 years ago. And Adam not only gets under the hood of of a dental practice and says, okay, this is your engine. This is your fuel tank. You know, this is your windshield washer fluid tank. No, this is your engine. These are the 237 different components of your engine parts 14 through 36 and 92 and 98 are broken. Fix those first, 
right? That trickles down and we have the best people, we have the, uh, the best data and the best systems. So we're really able to execute with laser-like precision to drive the right types of patients for folks, right? We um, were very, very good. We are uh, precision guided when it comes to not only scoping out the marketplace, scoping out perceived competition, uh, scoping out what Google thinks your perceived competition is, despite what you or I may think, right? And then really being able to pull the right levers in the right sequence to generate results expediently, repeatably, and predictably. I like that. That predictable part can be really helpful when you're wondering about budgeting and put it in there and what to do. But Mike, what, while we got you here, I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity of your brain power and what your experience has been. Sometimes dentists and others in business will say, okay, well, what's the right platform to use? Just, just tell me the magic platform. I'm going to write it down. And that's the one we're going to go after. Your approach is a little different. And I think something that's a little bit more sound in marketing and gets better results. Instead of focusing on a given platform, what would you recommend for dentists to do in marketing? Yeah, so I think it's more, Terry, if, if I may, and I say this respectfully, it's more than just the right platform. It's the right mindset when it comes to driving new patients or driving the right kind of patients, right? Otherwise, you're going to be doing this month after month after month, you know, the, and, you know, the flavor of the day when it comes to marketing, right? No, no, no. It's, it's not one platform that's going to deliver for you, right, in and of itself, or at the very least, deliver for you in the maximum capacity, right? You need to be doing all of the correct things in the correct sequence in order to generate the results that you're looking for. So, you know, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that your SEO is tight on your website, right? It doesn't matter uh, how beautiful your website is. If people are not finding it, it's a vanity project, respectfully. It's, it, it's a beautiful brochure. Right. You also need to make sure that they're finding you, you know, in terms of SEO, because that means a number of different things to different people. It's on site. It's off site. It's Google My Business. It's, you know, which is also known as Google Maps. And it's doing things in the correct sequence and being represented everywhere where Google spiders are going to crawl and make sure that you pop up. Right. Obviously, you also need to be able to drive your uh, potential new patients based on what they're searching for with Google ads. It needs to be done correctly. Right. I can give you a three day masterclass on how to run Google ads, you know, correctly, but we don't have time for that. But you need to think about doing both all the time. Right. Think of your house. You can own your house or you can rent your house. You know, SEO and people finding you organically. That's like owning your house. Right. Uh, Google ads and pay per click. That's like renting your house, right? And especially when you're starting out to try to drive business and grow your practice quickly, you absolutely unadulteratedly want to be focused heavily on Google ads. But if you're not doing the right thing, then you're gonna waste a lot of money. So what I tell folks all the time is whether you're in practice day one or you're 25 years into your practice or beyond, right? Think of your marketing, your SEO, and also your, your ad spend uh, in a diversified way, just like you would your portfolio, right? There's going to be certain times where you're going to want to, you know, spend more and focus more energy and effort on pay-per-click. There's other time and, you know, and maybe a little less on SEO because SEO takes more time to build correctly. But maybe as you go down the primrose path a little bit further, then you're spending less on, you know, uh, pay-per-click. You're spending less on renting because you're owning more. Right. Uh, and again, we can deliver a whole long masterclass on that, but it's about doing the right things in the right sequence to generate the maximum results. I like that. That makes a whole lot of sense. Well, let's get even deeper into this. We'll roll up our sleeves here. I got my dental nacho shirt on. We'll roll up our sleeves already here. And a yeah. dentist gets in touch with you. They say, okay, I, I'm interested. You got my attention. They get in touch with you and they even sign up for your services. What can they expect as they get started and kind of the process you take them through to help them make that happen? Yeah. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a deep dive onboarding call you know, with, with the dentists uh, and or the folks who are the, the key point people in their practice, because oftentimes dentists need to be focused on fixing people's smiles, right? And pouring into people's lives. And they don't necessarily have time to be spending, you know, time on marketing. They, they're hiring the best, right? So they're, I'm hiring the best so I can focus on what I'm best at, right? Um, but, you know, we're going to deep dive on getting very, very clear about where they are, what the goals are, what the expectations 
are. We're going to identify their tangible uniquenesses and all the things that are going to differentiate them from their perceived competition, right? All the things that uh, folks are actually searching for, not what we think they're searching for or the dentist thinks they're searching for, but what they're actually searching for in their area, um, you know, and identifying places to win. It's all about stacking wins right, to make sure that they are differentiated and appearing much, much higher than their competition, right, and then it's a matter over, you know, we say eight to 10 weeks, sometimes it's quicker, um, we're going to generate a website um, that converts, we're going to put together a very, very precise drilled down marketing uh, strategy for both pay-per-click uh, and SEO, we're gonna handle reputation management to make sure that the reviews are coming in, the reviews are coming in in the right way and they're positive reviews. We're gonna handle everything you know, in Google Maps and a number of other services. It is basically, we offer a fully integrated marketing approach when dentists hire fire gang. So you don't have to ever worry about you know, spending your money, not getting the results you're getting, and your SEO person is pointing to your website person who's pointing to your, you know, pay-per-click person, you know, and everybody's doing this, blaming everybody else, and the only person losing is the dentist. And we take that completely off the table because it's all under one roof, per, you know, proverbial, proverbial one roof, uh, and the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. Um, and we get dentists, uh, we generate some very, very quick wins, you know, certainly right out of the gate. But you know, as time goes on, we're building on those. It's like a snowball going down the hill, right? Um, the dentists that have been with Fire Gang on average have been with us for over four years. And the reasons mm. that they leave when they leave are for the quote unquote right reasons. They've hit bandwidth, they don't want to expand anymore. They don't want to take on additional locations or become an emerging DSO. They, you know, uh, they're retiring, they're moving, they're selling their fat, things of that nature. So they're, they're, when they leave, it's for the right reasons. You know, and when they leave, they can take everything that Fire Gang has done with them for them. So, for them sounds very them. good. I like it. It's like a comprehensive solution that you're offering to them so they can get the results they need and bring in the right new patients. I love the way you phrase that, the right new patient. That's great. Now, if someone wants to get more information, they want to get in touch with you and uh, maybe take it to the next step, what's the best way for them to reach you? Folks can reach us on the website, which is firegang, F-I-R-E-G-A-N-G.com. They can call me directly at 509-642-6690, or they can send us an email directly from the website. We'll be more than happy to give them a complimentary strategy call, which is not a sales call where we'll spend about 30 minutes with them and identify what's going on with the practice, what's working well, what's not working well, what the goals are short-term and long-term. And then we will tell them exactly what they need to do in the right sequence, the right levers to pull to grow their practice in 2022 and beyond. We'll take the guesswork out of it. And then at that point, they can say, great, Mike, thanks. Or thanks, Fire Gang team uh, for putting that together. And we'll take it from here or they can ask us what it might look like to work with Fire Gang. So again, happy to give that complimentary strategy call. I think a, one final key distinction I will leave you with Terry is that we partner with dentists. We come alongside of them, right? And, you know, being from Philly and Dental Nachos is in Philly, right? Philadelphians, they know what relationships are. And that is a buzzword to a lot of folks, right? We truly come alongside of dental practices and we are their partner in making sure that they're driving the results, generating the number of patients, the number of right patients that they are looking for. So I hope that helps. Absolutely. We've been talking with Mike Matthews with Fire Gang, helping dentists get the right new patients and doing a damn good job of it as well. Mike, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you for what you're doing for the dentist. And thank you for what you're doing to help out at Dental Nachos as well. Thanks, Terry. I appreciate you. And I'm Terry Brock on behalf of the entire Dental Nachos team. Think about this. Think about what you can do to start getting the results you need in your practice. Get in touch with Mike. He can talk to you about what needs to be done and how to do it. We'll look forward to hearing from you. Have a wonderful day. And thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Terry.